Hey guys, Mr. Barnes here again, bringing another math video. Um, so if you've been watching these video series, guys, I've been really, uh, I'm really cranking up the game here with the calculus videos lately. And uh, if you like these videos, or if you find these videos particularly helpful, you know, share them to your friends, share them to your people in your class, um, spread them around. Especially if you're a student who lives in Newfoundland and is going to, to write the CPT, um, these videos will certainly help you study for the CPT. And uh, last year, my students uh, really had a lot of success on the CPT. Really happy to say that they uh, were, they did fabulous on the CPT. Had, had a few A's in my class, uh, and I had a small class. It was only 11 students, so it was, uh, it was an excellent result. All right, so this video, I'm going to do some trig limit stuff. And uh, I'm going to do, I've already done trig limits when we use sine kx over x. We're probably still going to have to use this guy, so the limit as x goes to zero sine kx over x is equal to k. But particularly, I'm going to do this video on when you have to factor in order to achieve that. So, if you look at this guy, I have a trig function with a polynomial. So whenever that's the case, generally you're going to get your x from this guy from that polynomial. So if I go ahead now and I factor this bottom part, so sine 3x. Now really I only need an x, but I'm taking it what I can anyway. So I'll take it a 2x, and that leaves me with 3x minus 1. Anytime you factor like that in a high, you know, uh, a high value test, I'll call it, or a high stakes test, uh, make sure you factor right. That's really important. So 2x times 3x, 6x squared, 2x times negative 1, 2x. So it's, the mistakes I see is often forgetting this guy. So this 2 here, guys, is really doing nothing. So I'm just going to plop that out outside the limit just to sort of simplify things up in here and let me show you what's happening. So you can kind of see I've already made my sine kx over x right here. It's just this part right here. So that the limit of that guy right there is 3. So before I just put that 3 in there though, I'm going to rewrite this guy to be sine 3x over x times the limit as x goes to 0 sine 1 over 3 x minus 1. So I just sort of break the, I broke this up into the sine 3x over x and the 1 over, so the 1 that will be on top here, over the 3x minus 1. Just to show my calculus teacher that I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm breaking this up into a known limit and this guy's 3 and this guy just had to sub in the number so it would be 3 times 0 which is 0 minus 1, so times minus 1, and then so I have uh, negative 3 over 2. So there it is, guys, an example of when you have to factor to be able to solve a trig limit. All right, let's try another one. No, it's not working out for me. Oh. All right, this is embarrassing. There we go. All right, so here's another example. Focus camera, here we go. So uh, we have a polynomial on the bottom again. So we're gonna go ahead and just straight up factor that guy. Anytime you see a polynomial, you'll be thinking I'm gonna factor it. So I can take an x squared out and I can take a four out. So sine 10x on top is rewritten. So I take a four x squared. So that leaves me with x minus two. So I'm just gonna do a quick check. 4x squared times, yep, we're good on that one, we're good on that one, nicely done. So again, I'm going to take that 4 that's on the outside there, floating around, just being annoying, uh, on the outside. And then I can also cancel an x and that squared. So I get with sine 10x all over x, and that's right there. So that's my sine kx over x right there. So my sine kx over x is what I'm looking to make, and I've already got it made. So that, the limit of this guy is 10. And then I'll rewrite what I have left. So what I have left is nothing on the top of the is 1, and then the x minus 2. So I get left with 1 over 4. The limit of this guy is 10. And then the, the limit of this guy, I just sub in 0. So 1 divided by 0 minus 2 is negative 1 over 2. So that's negative 5 over 4. And there it is, there's my limit. All right, so there's another example of when you have a polynomial combined with a trig function. All right, let's go ahead and try the last one. 
So this one's a little bit of a different factoring situation. So um, we have on the bottom here what looks to be very similar to, uh, you know, it looks almost like a Pythagorean identity that's not quite, it's just a negative of it. So you technically could change that to negative sine squared, but that's not how I'm going to do that, although I don't know if that would, you could probably do the limit like that, I would say you could. But the way I see here, and this, just because this is a factoring video, this right here is different to squares, right? So if you remember, like, x squared minus 4 is equal to x minus 2, x plus 2. And then I might say to my students, well, what's you know, x squared minus y squared, well, that tell me, x plus, or x minus, well, it doesn't matter the order, x minus y. And then I might say, well, co squared's a perfect square, so is 1, what's that going to be? So co squared theta minus 1 is cos theta minus 1, cos theta plus 1. So, and I get ahead thetas here, so I'm going to just change that to theta, because these are all theta, so... I don't know if I did that in the other ones. Hopefully I didn't. Um, so we're going to factor that bottom part. So I got cos theta minus 1 all over cos theta plus 1, cos theta minus 1. So the cos theta minus 1's cancel. So you see factoring really pays off for this one. And then we get left with the limit as x goes to 0, 1 over cos theta plus 1. Now I just know that the limit as x goes to 0 of cos theta itself is just, if I put 0 in there, it's just 1, because those cos theta itself, cos of 0 is 1. So this is just 1 over 1 plus 1, which is 1 over 2. All right, there it is, guys. So hopefully this helps in your quest to figure out trigonometric limits. Um, thanks for watching. And again, if you like this video, uh, subscribe, share my channel, uh, or keep it completely secret so you do better than all your friends, whatever works for you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in class.